Ladies and gentlemen, oh my god, you're kind of shaking there. I've got like this thing jerry-rigged here. Uh, good to see you. Dobro uh, Today is, it's, it's 9 o'clock at night. I just got back from a good friend of mine's uh, house. Uh, I call him the Bearded Chetnik. He's a young man from Zrenjanin. Good guy. Uh, a nationalistic Serbian. And, but a good man. Me and my Norwegian buddy went over there and ate. He, he just sent me a text message out of the blue. He said, hey, my mom just had a birthday party. She sends him, she lives in Zrenjanin, and he lives here in Novi Sad and studies law. And she sends him like, <laughs> it's such a gourmet meal. She sends him chicken. She sends him um, these fried mushrooms. This, uh, they, they had a big lamb that they roasted, you know. It sent him all this roasted lamb, for God's sakes, you know. Good stuff, not a sandwich, you know. And I was doing really well. I've been a little depressed about my weight, you know. That's why I haven't made a lot of videos, because everybody always comments on how fat I am. I know I am, dude, you know. Trying to do something about it. Not a whole lot, as I'm looking at this goddamn ice cream cone right here next to me. <laughs> I'm trying to do something about it, I promise. It's hard, you know. In this country, it's hard to lose weight. I walk like... It took me, it takes me 20 minutes to walk to my Norwegian friend's house and then another five minutes to this guy's house. So I walked about close to 40 minutes today. And then I was coming back, I thought, you know what? I ate, two, I ate a piece of chicken, a couple pieces of lamb, a couple french fries at his house. I thought, you know what? I'm doing okay. Because today I just ate popcorn for lunch, walking back, and I was like, you know what? I'm doing good. Charlie, you're doing good? Don't eat anything? I walked past the Palachinka place, I thought... I had to stop myself. I said, no, Charlie, you're doing good. Go, Charlie. Go, Charlie. Go, Charlie. It's 9 o'clock. you got to get up early tomorrow. Go, Charlie. Walk past this ice cream place. They just put out fresh, this beautiful ice cream that they have over this part of the world. Really soft, really beautiful. So i got Snickers and chocolate. So here goes my girlish figure here again. Uh, you know, I, I was going to make a video about this, and I'm going to, because my friend gave this to me, but it's special. 1995 Ringlet uh, Rakia. Ringlet. It took me a while to figure out what the hell Ringlet was. I asked people, people are like, what? I don't understand. This is a wild plum. Shliva is a domesticated plum, but a Ringlet is like a wild cherry plum. Uh, kind of. So this is beautiful. From 1995, the Salakovich family, the, that family will always be right here in the middle of my heart. Uh, the two boys, Nicola and Nana, I love them with all my heart, man. And so I've got a bottle of it, a bottle of this, another two bottles over there, another two bottles in there. <laughs> Rakia, out the yin yang, brother. And it doesn't go good with it. That's why I was going to do a video with this now, but I'm eating an ice cream. And ice cream and Rakia, if you never had it, it sucks. Don't, don't mix them together. But anyway, today I wanted to talk to you a little bit about, if I ever get on the subject that I plan on talking about. Oh my god. Big piece of Snickers. Mm. Subject I'm talking about today is Thanksgiving. Okay? I found out today, the day before Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving, for those of you who don't know, it's probably the second largest, second most celebrated holiday in the United States of America. Always, always, always falls on the last Thursday in November. And today is Thanksgiving Day Eve, which isn't very important. But my grandma's brother, Lester Burton, he was 99 years old. He died this morning on Thanksgiving Eve. And really, really sad. Uh, I've had a lot of family members pass away when I'm over here. Two friends and... I hate it, man, because it's so expensive just to run over there for a funeral and come back. I can't do it. Those things are tough, especially on Thanksgiving Eve. Thanksgiving, anyway, is a day we're celebrating tomorrow. 350 alumni from the Work and Travel Group are going. We rented the Mixer House in Belgrade, beautiful place, and I'm the host of the entire event. So I've got to speak. I've got to welcome everybody. I've got to talk about the program. We've got to give away three $1,300 prizes. Well, so it makes some kids pretty happy. But anyway, Thanksgiving was created. What we do in the USA, people ask me about American traditions, and I don't talk about them a lot. Not that I don't love them. I do, and I miss them so very much. But I just don't talk about it because a lot of people don't want to hear me talk about that. Anyway, Thanksgiving's a day, always the last Thursday. It signifies a big uh, turkey, usually. 
Uh, it's the centerpiece usually of every Thanksgiving meal. You invite family and friends over. You do a lot of drinking in some households. Mine didn't drink a lot because my mother hates alcohol. Uh, so we didn't drink a lot, but most people watch football. American football started then. It's just a time, it's very similar to your Slava here in Serbia. Slava is a patron saint day that Serbians hold very, very... Um, Kakosikaja serves hold on to that tradition for many, many years, just like this, this tradition for Americans. 1620, supposedly, in Plymouth, Massachusetts, right on the coast between Boston and, and Cape Cod, was a place called Plymouth. Supposedly, these pilgrims that came over here were welcomed by the Wap Wapong Indians, and they had a big celebration together. These Indians were helping these new refugees, like something the USA is, is, is throwing a whole fit about now that's pissing me off. But they welcome there. Uh, they don't really know how this turkey thing got started, but turkey's like a wild bird in the USA, and it's known as the American uh, bird. Ben Franklin tried to get it to be our uh, symbol of the United States, but it turns up being the bald eagle. But anyway, how people over, we eat that, we eat pumpkin pie, we eat cranberry. Only time we eat this cranberry sauce stuff is, is usually, in my family anyway, at uh, Thanksgiving, and I don't like it. Uh, dressing, mashed potatoes and gravy. Uh, you have a really nice event. It's just really about being with your family. A lot of households, they use it as kind of a religious thing. We don't really. Uh, we're really rix, uh, mixed in, in religion in my, in my family, so it's not really that way, but a lot of people look at it as that. They look at the previous year and all the previous things you've done in your days and in your years and think of what you're thankful for. And I wanted to say today kind of what I'm thankful for. I'm thankful that I have two absolutely wonderful parents who've always been there and helped me anytime I needed their assistance and guidance. And they raised me to be this non-judgmental person that I am now. Uh, they didn't force me to, to believe like a lot of these small town idiots think. Uh, I, I believe in being friends with anybody that's nice to me, regardless of race, nationality, religion. Uh, so thank you, mother and father wonderful people. I'm thankful for the Serbian people also for, for in inviting me into their country and letting me experience this place without hate and discrimination and uh, violence, you could say. Uh, and I'm thankful that I've been able to uh, adapt to this environment. Uh, I'm not religious, so I'm not going to say anything with that, but I I'm, I'm uh, thankful that I was able to do it for myself, to live here, to, to feel what's special about this beautiful country here in the middle of Southeastern Europe and to befriend so many wonderful people. Uh, also thankful for my Muslim friends who, uh, since leaving the USA, I've been able to, to befriend and get very close friendships with these Muslim people that I never ever would have had if I would have stayed in that same little place in the middle of the USA. If I'd have still been there, I'd still felt the same way about Serbians, still felt the same way about Muslims. So I'm very honored, very blessed to, to have done what I've wanted in my life. Uh, and, and so that's it. That's what I'm thankful for. Anyway, my friends, tomorrow's a big day for us. I gotta be this big speaker. I'm gonna finish my ice cream. I just walked home in the rain these uh, 40 minutes, uh, but it's a nice day. We had snow the other day. No snow now, it's just a little bit of rain. It's gonna warm up a little bit. So that's it, my friends. Happy Thanksgiving to each and every single one of you. Uh, if you don't celebrate Thanksgiving, I want to take this moment to wish you a very Srećna Slava, whatever your Slava is, if you're a Pravoslavitz. Okay, my friends? Thank you so much. Take care of yourself. Pozdrav.